This video is going to show how to import and simulate third-party simulation models in ORCAD PSPICE. Let's import a .lib file first. Open the provided design in ORCAD PSPICE Designer. Select File, Open, PSPICE Library from the menu. Navigate to the 2str1215.lib file included with the provided files and open it. The PSPICE model editor will open, as well as the Select Design Entry Tool window. Select Capture and choose Done. From the Models list on the left, select 2str1215. The SPICE model file will open. To the right of the model parameter is the name of the part. Change it to st underscore 2str1215. Save the file and close the model editor. Back in Capture, select Transistor Q1. Right click and select Associate PSPICE model. A prompt will appear. Select Yes to overwrite the existing model and open the Associate PSPICE model window. To the right of the Model Library dropdown, select Browse. Browse to the location of 2str1215.lib. Select and open the file. In the Model Mapping table, confirm that the symbol pins B, C, and E match with the model terminals B, C, and E. Select Update Selected to update the part. A message will appear saying that the model association was successful. Click OK. Select PSPICE New Simulation Profile from the menu. Name the simulation SignAmp Trans. Set Inherit From to None and click Create. Set the Run To time to 10 milliseconds and the maximum step size to 10 microseconds. Select Configuration Files from the sidebar. Select Library under Category. Confirm that the 2str1215.lib file exists in the configured files list. Click OK to save the simulation profile. Select the voltage marker button from the toolbar to place a probe. Click to place the probes. Right click and select End Mode. Select PSPICE Run from the menu or the Run button on the toolbar. View the simulation results. Let's import a text file next. Browse to the provided files. Right-click on the mcp6547.txt file and select Rename. Change the extension to .lib. Open the Start menu and select Cadence PCB Utilities 17.4-2019 PSPICE Model Editor 17.4. If the Model Editor Product Choices window opens, select ORCAD PSPICE Designer and click OK. The Select Design Entry Tool window will open. Select Capture and choose Done. Select File, Model Import Wizard from the menu. Select Browse next to Enter Import Model Library. Navigate to the mcp6547.lib file, select it, and click Open. Select Next. This will open the Associate Replace Symbol table. There is no symbol associated with this model, so the generated schematic symbol will be a rectangle with pins organized in columns. Select Finish. A prompt will appear asking to attach the default symbol to the model. Select Yes. A log file will open with any errors that may have occurred. Click OK. Close the model editor. Open the provided design in ORCAD PSPICE Designer. Select the existing op-amp and press Delete on the keyboard. Select Place Part from the menu, or click the Place Part button on the toolbar. Select the Add Library button. Browse to the Saved Symbol Library. Select it and click Open. In the Library table, scroll down and select MCP6547. The newly created part will appear in the Part list. Select the part and click Place Part. Click to place the part in the schematic canvas. Right-click and select End Mode. Select Place Wire from the menu, the Wire button on the toolbar, or press W on the keyboard. Wire the connections to each pin of the comparator. Press Escape on the keyboard when finished. Select the Voltage Marker button from the toolbar. Click to place a probe on the Square Out Net. Right-click and select End Mode. Select PSPICE Edit Simulation Profile from the menu. Select Configuration Files from the sidebar and Library under Category. Select Browse. Navigate to the mcp6547.lib file. Select it and click Open. Select Add to Design. This will configure the library for the Sign Amp Trans simulation. Click OK to save the settings and close the window. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. 
View the simulation results. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.